control of illegal rosewood exploitation. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to shed light on light of the recent public outcry on the menace of illegal harvesting and export of rosewood. Rosewood export started in Ghana in 2004 with an initial volume of only 18 cubic meters in that year. The export volume and value have increased since 2009 when the government granted permit to five companies to remove all trees, including economic trees, in the reservoir to make way for the construction of the buoy dam. China is the dominant importer of Ghanaian rosewood, representing over 90% of the total exports. Various governments in the past have recognized the need to apply a ban as a measure to control its exploitation. In March 2019, ladies and gentlemen, the ministry placed a ban on both the issuance of salvage permit and export of the rosewood in line with recent exports of over-exploitation and illegalities in the system. Although the ban is still in place and the ministry has not, emphasis mine, the ministry has not issued any salvage permit since then. However, there are, however, there has been numerous media reports of exploitation and export of the species in which some international media houses have also carried the story. If you will recall, there was a recent investigation by Environmental Investigation Agency in which some government officials were cited for corruption. Further to that, the Secretariat of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES, have also petitioned the government to investigate the matter. Subsequently, the minister constituted a seven-man committee comprising of representatives from civil society organizations, the Ghana Revenue Authority, Customs Division, Parliamentary Select Committee on Lands and Forestry to unravel the allegations made by the EIA. As, as I speak, the committee is in the northern region of Ghana as part of their tax to unravel the allegations. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to assure you, the general public, that the ministry is forced to curb the illegalities in the rosewood trade, and I would make available the findings of the investigation to the general public as soon as they are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the ministry wish the ministry will pursue government agenda to prove to develop the mining subsector, especially the bauxite industry, the iron and steel industry, and also provide security of tenure for the citizenry and restore the forest cover of the nations whilst providing employment security for the youth. I'm done.